the Battle of Mansikert or Malaskirt was fought between the Byzantine Eastern Roman Empire and the Turkic Seljuk Empire on the 26th of August 1071 near Mansikert, the theme of Iberia, modern day Malaskirt in Mus province of modern day Turkey. Here, the Eastern Roman Empire suffered a devastating defeat and Romanus Diogensis, the emperor of the Eastern Roman Empire, was captured and though later released, him being defeated, losing his troops and humiliated by the Seljuks before being let free led to a weakening of his political position and thus a civil war against him erupted, waged by the Ducas family and Romanus Diogensis lost this civil war and was disposed, blinded and exiled to the island of Kruti. This led to a weakening of the Eastern Roman Empire and led to further conquests by the Seljuk Empire, taking large parts of the Anatolian Peninsula as a result of this. And thus, Manzikert came to be seen as a great disaster for the Empire. Thus, later sources often greatly exaggerated the number of troops and casualties, as the battle itself was not that devastating as most Byzantine soldiers actually survived. Yet, it should be said that while the battle in itself was not the death blow, it did become the catalyst for great changes and issues later, as the Islamic Seljuk expansion moved beyond what was the natural borders and lines of protection for the Eastern Roman Empire. The natural mountain passes that had protected the Eastern Roman Empire for so long against invaders were breached forever, and this Seljuk expansion led to a permanent establishment of a Turkish Islamic presence on the Anatolian Peninsula that would forever threaten the Eastern Roman Empire's domain. The difficulty and desperation of this situation also led to a call for aid from the Western Christians, which ended in the Crusades and eventually also the sack of Constantinople in April 1204 by the Crusaders when they decided to turn on the Eastern Roman Empire, further weakening the Eastern Roman Empire. Speaking about this Turkish presence, it would eventually create the nation of Turkey as we know it today, as the Seljuks would eventually fragment and you would see the rise of the Seljuk Sultanate of Rome, a successor state of the Seljuks. And from them, eventually, you would see the rise of the Ottoman Empire, conquering the Eastern Roman Empire, eventually taking the capital city of Constantinople in the 29th of May, 1453, ending the Roman Empire, ending a political entity that had existed for over two millennia, ending the legacy of the empire that dominated the Mediterranean world since antiquity. You could argue that the Ottomans were simply a continuation of the Roman Empire, as I do argue that they did adopt a lot of the Roman legacy, which you can see in a video I made. A link to it is in the description. But in any case, the Ottomans rise to power and dominance over the entirety of the Anatolian Peninsula and the rest of the old Eastern Roman Empire, led to the closing off of the East for Europe, forcing the Europeans to seek new trade lines by going to the sea westward, finding the new world, leading to colonialism there and the developments that would forever change European and Western history and civilization. And the rise of the Ottomans would not only shape the course of Western history, but of course it would also shape the course of Middle Eastern history too by its presence as it came to dominate the rest of the Middle East after having taken over the old Eastern Roman Empire and its influence can still be felt to this very day in parts of the Middle East by the legacy left by the Ottoman Empire and with the collapse of the Ottoman Empire after the First World War it would eventually give rise to modern Turkey the modern nation of Turkey, the Turkish Republic as we know it today and all of this was stemming from this battle that changed history. Please do subscribe as it would help the channel spread awareness about the humanities.